continuing on in article 334, which is NM cable, we find ourselves at 334.40, boxes and fittings. And, oh boy, as much as I didn't like the bending radius change, I love this change. I'm really happy about this. Listen, this is one of those things that if you're not familiar with the product that I'm about to discuss, you're going to lose your mind. Uh, people see this product and they freak out and they think it's the end of the world and buildings are going to blow up and everything else. Listen, the product that we're about to look at is fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Believe it or not, this product has been around for over 50 years. And in every manufactured home and mobile home you've ever seen, there are dozens of these things. They're perfectly fine. It, it, listen, it's just like any other termination. A termination is only as good as the person making the termination. If you don't do it right, then it's prone to fail. I don't care if we're talking about twist on wire connectors, push in wire connectors, if we're talking about set screw compression lugs, exothermic welding. If you don't do it right, well then yeah, the product might fail, but if you follow the instructions and you do it correctly, your termination should last forever. And that's the case with this product as well. So let's take a look at 334.40 and see what they did. Okay, so 334.40 boxes and fittings, the restrictions for splicing NM cable without a box were lessened. All right, I like this change, and quite frankly, I, I like this product, actually. It says, listed NM cable interconnector devices without a box are permitted to be used for splicing exposed or concealed cables. All right, look, what we're trying to do is eliminate this. Now, any of us that have ever done anything resembling residential have probably seen a flight, a splice like this flying in the middle of the attic or concealed in the wall, right? Just twist on wire connectors, taped up and buried. Well, this product is designed to address that issue. Can we just be honest here for a minute? People are going to splice NM cable without an accessible box. I'm not saying they should. I'm simply saying it's going to happen. We all know this. People are going to splice Romex and bury it in the wall. We might as well come up with a safe way of doing it. We just we just have to acknowledge it. They're, they're going to do it. So let's come up with a safe way to do it with a product that has been tested and listed and we know is safe. And that's what we have here. <clears throat> These interconnector devices, like I said, have been around for about 50 years. And you can see here in the product, you take the conductors, you lay them in, and you press them into the insulation piercing part of it. And then there's it's, a two, uh, it, it's two halves that clip together, and they make your splice, and you can conceal it in the wall. Now, going back over several code editions, we've really uh, seen this section evolve quite a lot. It used to say that these were permitted only where exposed. And then it said, okay, you can use them for repairing existing wiring and then it can be concealed. And it's like, okay, wait a minute. <laughs> I can conceal this if I'm using it for repairing existing wiring. Okay, so you just said it's safe to conceal this thing. Well, then why can't I conceal it in new construction? What if I'm wiring a new house and, oh, this, this, infuriates me when I see this. But but somebody comes by over the weekend or at night and vandalizes the house and cuts out all the cable or cuts the home runs. Can you use these things and splice those cables back together? Yes. Previous versions of the code, that had to be accessible, right? Exposed. Nobody's going to have accessible splices showing, exposed splices. You're going to want to be able to conceal this. And if it's safe, to conceal it for existing installations, why would it not be safe for new installations? Now, listen, don't freak out. People are reading this and they're like, oh man, now everybody's gonna be putting this all over the place. It, it's not cost effective to just use this at the end of every spool of NM cable, right? You're, you're pulling a wire through the studs and you're gonna splice it. These, these things aren't a dollar fifty each, okay? It, it's still not going to be cost cost effective to use these things all through a house. You're only going to need to you're only going to use these when you need to use them. But if you need to use them and we know they're safe, why were there so many restrictions on them? Now there's not. So yeah, bury it in the wall. New construction, existing construction doesn't matter. They're tested. They're safe. They're fine. All right. So put them in. There you go. Nice change here in 334.30.